Hi there and welcome to this X8R video, demonstrating the install of our new handle for pickup truck canopies. This is a universal replacement handle which will fit any hardtop which does not have a recessed handle. For example, this will not fit snugtop canopies. It fits brands such as Carryboy, SJS, Adventurer, AT Avenger, Aeroclass and other hardtops built from factories such as the Nissan Navara and L200. In this video, we are using a canopy removed from a Nissan Navara. For more information on fitment, please contact us on the phone number or the email address on the screen. Original pickup truck handles often need replacing due to a single component within the mechanism failing, such as the spring or the lock cylinder. Or the handle might need replacing due to losing the keys. Handles from the original manufacturers are expensive and can also have long lead times if on back order. Automotive locksmiths are also pricey. In this example, the lock cylinder had seized and the key had stopped working. Replacing the whole handle was more cost-effective and saved time compared to calling out an automotive locksmith. Install of these handles may vary across manufacturers, and components within the mechanisms can vary, so only a few components from our handle kit may be needed to fix the fault or change the handle. Firstly, you will need to remove the handle backing plate to expose the mechanism. Ours was held on with two Phillips head screws. As you can see, the mechanism is comprised of various components. It is worth noting down in which order you remove them and also taking a photo of the mechanism at this point. Remove the two nuts holding on the latch rods. We used a 10mm spanner. Pull the latch rods away from the holding plate. Remove the centre bolt and washer from the holding plate. Again, we used a 10mm spanner. Remove the holding plate, spacer and spring. Using a 10mm socket and ratchet set, we removed the locating nut on the other side of the handle. We then removed the rusted washer and foam pad. Remove the main nut using a 30mm socket and ratchet set. Then remove the spring holding plate and rubber gasket. The handle should now come away from the hard top. Take apart the new X8R handle by removing the screws and bolts. Remember, you might not need to use all of the components from our handle, as some may have slightly different designs. Ours used a different latch holding plate and spring, so we had to use the originals. This is the original plate. And this is the plate that comes with our handle. As you can see, they are different. Put the gasket on the back of the handle and slot into the holes on the hard top where the old handle was installed. Put the spring holding plate onto the back of the handle and tighten the 30mm nut over the top. Install the new round gasket, washer and 10mm bolt onto the outside of the handle. We also had to use the foam pad that was originally on the handle. First, tighten it by hand and then go in with the socket and ratchet set.
with the new spring and the spring holding plate, it is essential that it is in the same position as it was taken off from. Please refer to the photo of the original mechanism that you took earlier. Pull the spring back using the plate and lock it into place with the new bolt and washer. This can be very fiddly and the spring has a lot of tension, so mind your fingers. It may be easier if you can get a friend to hold it for you whilst you fit the bolt and washer. Install the latch rods and fit the nuts to hold them in place. And that is the install complete. The new handle has a much smoother finish than the original and the new lock works perfectly. Thank you for watching this X8R video. This kit is now available to purchase from our website www.x8r.co.uk and also from our eBay and Amazon store. If you have any questions, please contact us on the email or the telephone number on the screen.